welcome back guys uh, today I thought I'd take a look at the uh, MX 15 release candidate one now it appears that it's out of beta which means that uh, the first release candidate <coughs> uh, is out now this is uh, the release candidate which I installed this morning now <coughs> uh, <coughs> they had said that that uh, they, they were planning on uh, issuing a final release before Christmas. Uh, that would be great. Now, I uh, installed this this morning. Um, I had a little bit of an issue with the microphone, um, but nothing serious. I had to crank the gain up on the microphone, and it wasn't showing up in Pulse Audio, um, but uh, it appears to be working okay now. Uh, I'm using VocoScreen, which appears to be working fine. Now, I thought I'd go through uh, the usual um, on uh, MX-15 and show you some of the things that I really like about it. And then we'll take a look at some of the things that they have recently added. Now, uh, let's go to the MX Tools. Okay, so there's a Broadcom manager. Um, I don't have Broadcom on this particular computer, so I wasn't able to test this. But the last time I tested it, I, I believe it worked fine on my other computer with Broadcom. Now, um, I did do the Codex download, and I've downloaded a few packages using the MX uh, software um, gizmo that they have. <coughs> Now, uh, and the package installer is uh, very nice. Um, it enables you to install different packages within the categories and makes it easy for you to uh, fine tune your system. So that I really like about it. Now, uh, if we take a look at the panel orientation, this is something new. Um, they always have this side panel, um, but in this version, um, and I believe it was also included in the beta, um, they give you the option of changing the, the panel. Now, uh, right now it is um, a vertical uh, along the left side, but you can display it horizontally. Now, I haven't tested this yet, but, so we'll take a look at it. And we will apply that. And so that turns it into a typical uh, kind of a XFCE panel. It's very nice. I, I actually like it. So I'll, I think I'll leave it there for now. Um, now, sound card is very easy to configure. You can test it, and then you can click Apply to make it your default. Uh, everything seems to be running fine. Uh, let's see, if we go into the menu, uh, and it's very easy to configure. It's 1.5.1, the whisker menu. But if we go into Properties, uh, let's take a look at Behavior. that'll do it so the categories are on the left and then the various programs come up on the right <clears throat> I've got my search uh, at the top along with these uh, control uh, options here and uh, that's the way I personally like it but you can pretty much put it any way you like now if I bring up the control panel it is a, a typical XFCE control panel everything seems to be included now for appearance I like it just the way it is but they have a lot of options here and um, so you can configure it pretty much wh whatever way you like um, you've got all of the various options on your um, on your icons and fonts and settings and so everything appear as far as appearance goes everything 
looks to be normal. Now, let's see. Looks okay. So for window manager tweaks, you can set it up to place new windows in the center, and you can enable compositing, which I have not enabled. Normally, I um, leave that unchecked, and I um, install Compton, and that usually takes care of any screen tearing. I've got a configuration file for Compton that works quite well with NVIDIA graphics cards, and it does eliminate screen tearing, makes everything nice and smooth. So that's why I leave this compositing disabled and uh, install my own. And so if we go back to settings, Power Manager, I usually disable everything on Power Manager. The Screen Saver, I believe, is X Screen Saver, which it is. Um, and I usually, I usually enable that, but not the Power Management. So Preferred Applications, you can set up your preferred applications from handling mail, browsers, file management, things like that. Um, firewall configuration, you do have to unlock it first, and then you can turn it on. I usually leave it on the default settings and just leave it as it is. Uh, comes with Gparted. Session and startup, you can uh, set up your startup menu in here it's very easy to do you can add you can customize your grub now as you can see i've got nvidia loaded uh the newest 358.16 and uh how i did that is i used the sgfxi uh script that um the mepis community actually prefers so that's how I install the latest um, NVIDIA drivers. Now I did uh, install War Thunder and that is working fine, no problems at all. Uh, it did not work, it crashed prior to installing the latest NVIDIA drivers, but since I installed the latest NVIDIA drivers, everything seems to work fine. So this is the newest release candidate, release candidate one. It is out of beta and uh, I'm gonna probably leave this on my system until they come out with the final release candidate. And then I will definitely be running MX15. So guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any questions, post them in the comments. Uh, and on a Side note, I uh, want to thank you guys for, for coming and uh, coming to the channel, watching the videos. I really enjoy making the videos. I get enjoyment out of uh, doing this, so I'm glad you guys seem to enjoy it. I have reached 700 subscribers, which is uh, beyond what I thought I would do, um, but that's absolutely terrific, uh, and thank you guys. Um, so uh, please rate, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you soon. Take care.